Hi, this is Dennis Tate, and I'm going to discuss a little bit of uh, my gear setup. And here we're looking at an old setup, which is really a rack-based setup uh, with Marshall 2x12 cabinets. Uh, it was two rack cases full of gear, uh, very complicated and difficult. Um, I eventually sold those things. Uh, after the completion of my third album and my fourth album was really a transition and here we're looking at a new setup um, and this is a setup that I currently use which is um, a little more simple um, and definitely a drastic change instead I switched over to 212 combo amps um, two of them, one on the left, one on the right and instead of two spaces, I whittled that down to one rack space containing a mixer, um, two effects processors, a power amp, um, two drum machines, and one looper. Uh, also, the pedal board has changed. Instead of using two boomerangs, I now use one. I use an RP50 pedal, an AB stereo switcher and a couple other pedals and there you're taking a look at the rack unit um, and as we zoom in a little more closely here um, what you'll find is that it's really a very simple setup compared to what I have. You have to understand when I was playing live and even in the studio there were so many cables um, that it was really not very helpful um, to me at all and very difficult to set up. Um, I also found that with a simplified setup um, that in playing live and in the studio it's much simpler to set up but also the sound was much clearer. Um, and to get a more realistic feel I combine two drum machines together, okay, um, via MIDI, and they sync to one of the loopers, I like to call them Jam Man. Um, I had two of them and I sold one, I also sold one of the looping pedal boards. Um, it's really to simplify things, um, it's a little more difficult um, to create sounds, but at the same time it's much, much clearer um, than it ever has been previously, sound-wise. Um, I still use a 14-channel Mackie mixer, uh, which seems to work well for me. Uh, and with this simplified setup, you know, it was really the heart of it is actually a little RP50 pedal, which is less than a hundred dollar effects pedal and preamp. It's really an amp modeler. Uh, I also use Behringer Ultra Twin 212 uh, combo amps, and really um, I use those because they each have two separate channels, so one I go direct and one I go more for the looping. Uh, below that uh, you'll see an ADA bass cabinet as well as two PA uh, Fender cabinets, there they are with a 15 inch speaker and a horn in each and that is my current setup and I'll tell you um, it has really changed things as my previous setup was really a tube setup and this is a pure solid state setup um, this means that I've had to really change my plane quite a bit because with a solid state, um, you know, there's no chance to be sloppy um, compared to tubes. You know, we're using really kind of, um, I hope that the tubes will kind of keep things a little more uniform and together. Um, but with a solid state setup, it's definitely not that way. Um, you have to be very careful. On the other hand, it also allows for a lot of sonic possibilities. Which are really a good thing. I think. Um, for example, um, e even in the 
looping part of it, um, sounds are much clearer, much m more clearer than they were uh, when I had the rack set up, where things tended to get muddy because of the number of sounds going. Um, and here it's a much cleaner setup. But I've had to really redo my playing. Um, so it's definitely a new stage for me in my musical playing. My main guitar I've been playing for over 20 years and have used for most of the albums I've recorded. Um, it was actually built by Chris Hadding originally, my teacher, and since then has been worked on by numerous, numerous people. Um, it's a Schechter neck with an Ibanez body, uh, Seymour Duncan pickups, JB and Hot Rails. Um, best rock guitar I've ever played. While my main guitar was being worked on, I needed a replacement, and I got a Parker um, guitar, and it's fully stock guitar, uh, much more refined than my main guitar, and I found that I'm going to keep it as an addition. Uh, it really gives me some different sounds. Part of getting a setup is figuring out uh, what gear works for you and what gear doesn't. So I've tried a lot of different things. Well, doing the videos um, came about because I had recorded a lot of live shows and old interviews on analog hi-8 tapes. Uh, eventually I did get a digital camcorder, a Panasonic, uh, which I think is just absolutely fantastic. The picture is great. Um, and I finally had the computer horsepower to do some video editing, um, though it's fairly new to me, certainly. Um, and I find it's a very nice way of documenting uh, my progress on guitar.